Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hello, John. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? That's the most important question right now, because you are on the battlefield. Uh, well, I'm not on the battlefield. I'm in Kiev. Uh, well... and, uh, <laughs> but um, it was annoying. I arrived uh, a couple of days ago, and the moment I arrived, the Russian missiles hit, knocking off a lot of power in the city. Actually, where I'm staying is right in the center of town, and so I haven't lost power, I think. But I did lose water. So uh, yesterday I had to go see a um, a pal on the um, on the other side of town just to get a shower. It's annoying, but there we go. That show is, but there we go. Yes, I know that story because I'm following you uh, intensively on Twitter and not only on Twitter, on YouTube as well. Your Kiev diary. I even downloaded each episode from YouTube uh -huh. for for my collection because I'm a great fan. Lovely. Have you got all of it in one place, by the way? Yes, I Is do. Could you could you retransfer it to me so I can yes, retransfer I can. it? Uh, yes. Presumably, that means that the quality's uh, low. But if um... it's not that low, it's it it is uh, sometimes is it it's uh, high definition. Sometimes it's uh, twenty uh, seventy hundred and twenty p. But it's not a uh, low quality. Sure. No. So, no, so I I, me, I have all of them. Yeah, smashing. So if you can send it to me by WeTransfer, basically I'm going to send it on to somebody else, and then they can, if they want the originals, they can pick them out. But um, it, yes, that makes life easier. It's too hot in there. I'm going to take off my hat. There we are. Please I'm do, cool. please do. It was your <laughs> lucky orange hat. <laughs> of course. Well, I've uh, got a ton of things to do, so let's crack on. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you. Uh, for your book, you seven, you've sent this to me with your dedication. Here it is. Lovely. Thank you very much. I'm doing a documentary on 50 gates, uh, 50 years against uh, after Watergate, and it's questionable when the 50 years starts or finish because the burglary was in '72, the hearings and the trial began in 73 and subsequently Nixon resigned in 74. But nevertheless, this documentary will go on in January next year at the beginning of the trials for the burglars and in Senate. And in this documentary, I have already recorded Lower Burgerman from CBS News, Stephen Gray from Reuters, Nick Davis from Guardian, John Simpson from uh, BBC, Peter Greste from Al Jazeera, but he is now a professor in uh, Queensland University, and Alan Rasbridger, and you. So, <clears throat> I would like to ask you this fundamental question first. 50 years after the Watergate scandal, from the point of view, from the point of investigative journalist is something like that possible today and if yes why and if not why not it's a very interesting question i think that the answer um is depressing in that that what um the reporters on the washington post Woodward and Bernstein got was an amazing story, essentially of of an attempt to corrupt democracy, uh, American democracy, by the serving president of the United States, and such was the um, the unified structure of of the uh, American um, of American politics and the American media that because. Because of that unified structure, then um, obviously, um, you know, uh, left leaning um, journalists, essentially uh, pro Democratic Party journalists, but they were able to support, um, to set out the evidence, and that caused the Republican Party establishment to, to take stock and essentially to act in a constitutional way 
against um, um, rogue elements in their party and a rogue president. Now, you know, we've just seen uh, what well, Trump is still active in American politics. Maybe his star is waning. I certainly hope so. But he got into power and he abused power. And there was a failure of the media to properly call him to account, in part because the unified structure of uh, the, you know, the, uh, the foundations of American democracy were, I think, far more sound back then um, in the early 70s than they are in the, than they are today. Now, there's a number of reasons for that, one of which is social media has um, torn up the old social contract, I think, or the old um, contract inside society, where a number of things were, um, were held to be true and real, one of which is uh, the loser in a democracy, part of the strength of democracy is the losers accept losing. Trump didn't. And now this, but, but also he had the support of a kind of radicalized um, Republican party who took all of the things that the old Republican party in the seventies um, who the old Republicans honored, the modern Republican Party, at least the Trump part of it, the MAGA people, dishonored. So that there was a problem. So the question is, why did the media fail? The media failed. I think that there were enough stories and there was enough um, evidence of institutional wrong by Donald Trump while he was in office for him to have been impeached. And that never happened because the Republican Party has kind of unplugged itself from mainstream uh, politics. Now, I think what's about to happen is that that's um, going to change and that uh, um, because Trump uh, and Trump supporters did far less well at the midterms than we expected them to do so. But nevertheless, as an investigative journalist, I have to say that I think life was easier for Woodward and Bernstein, difficult as it was, than it is for us today. And, and, and in part because if you had a great story like that, backed with proper evidence, and it took them a long time to get their evidence, but they got there, then the political machinery of, of for example, the Republican Party would listen and it would, um, it would change according to the, uh, the evidence found by the investigative journalists. If a political party sets its heart against that because a loyalty to the boss, to the messiah, in some kind of weird cult-like way, overrides um, proper investigative journalism, then, um, oh, sorry, overrides honoring the US Constitution and in, in broader terms, honoring the rule of law, then um, they are in a dark place. And we are in a dark place. And I feel that American democracy and global democracy is has been in a it's been in a worse place recently um, than it was in the early seventies. Now, looking at the world, obviously in the early seventies you still had Spain and Portugal and Greece um, and South Korea effectively sort of fascistic dictatorships. You had the whole of the, um, um, the Eastern Europe un underneath the Soviet thumb, including Yugoslavia, more or less. And so there was a, um, uh, the world today is a better and more democratic place than it was before. However, I don't think that Trump was a, um, I think Trump was somebody who dishonored the idea of democracy in the wider sense of the thing. So yes, and the answer to the question is um, that if Watergate happened today in today's circumstances, I don't think today's Nixon would be impeached and would have had to resign because, because of the breaking up of the American social contract okay you already answered two of my next questions which is benefiting for you but uh, I, i'm thankful uh, as well uh 
This year, we marked fifth year since the killing of Daphne Caruana Galizia. An investigative reporter, I've spoken to Matthew, her son, and Corinne Vela, her sister. I did a short interview with her. On that occasion, uh, let's let's get back from these big international issues to grassroots investigative journalism. Are we in trouble in reality? Does this mean that we are in trouble? What happened with, with Daphne? I feel that there has always been, uh, the job of being an investigative journalist has always been dangerous. And um, there are many people out there who want to stop it, um, stop it stone dead. So I, and there are many uh, great journalists who, who also were killed in the 70s. I feel that, that we there was a moment in 1989 with the fall of the Berlin Wall where it felt like democracy was going to sort of lurch forward, and and we, I was very very optimistic, and I now feel foolish about some of that optimism. So, for example, in Hungary and to a lesser extent, but to a worrying extent in Poland, you've got governments that seem to be contemptuous of the rule of law and are abusing their populist majorities to um, to to override the rule of law and override the judiciary, and that feels quite wrong. Uh, you've, we've had a bit of it in Britain, certainly under Boris Johnson, and, and then obviously we've had Trump. So I think that looking at um, the Western world as a whole, we're in trouble. It was shocking that an investigative journalist in the inside the European Union in Malta was blown up, and basically the the system that killed her, which is the um, the ruling Labour Party and their friends who are gangsters, that system has yet to be properly called to account, and the uh, the Mister Big has yet to be um, uh, tried, as I understand it. Um, so. So but what happened to Daphne is a warning to all of us because we're next. Okay, thank you. We are finishing it. I don't want to take much of your time. I promise I will send you all of your uh, Lovely, Kiev, yeah. Ki Kiev diaries. You can count on that, believe me. Thank uh, you. Just, just quick, quick fires and you can answer sure. in, in one word. Peter Hitchens or Christopher Hitchens? Christopher. Will Trump win GOP nomination? No. Will Biden run again? Yes. Lib Dems in coalition with Labour? Yes. Will UK rejoin European Union one day? Yes. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. And um, it's great if you can send me that. Which answer yes, thing, yes, that. you can lovely. count on that. Check it out. It's done. Consider it Thank done. You. Thank, Thank you. you very much, John. Take care. I'm looking forward for your reportage, books and everything. I enjoyed it this very much. It's a great treasure for me because you dedicated this book to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's Thank always you. It's always a great pleasure. Keep on Cheers. great job. Cheers, old boy. Take care. Thank you.